Hey everybody, um, I'm back and I'm back to talk about um, the my first theory that I felt that I could apply to my uh, career journey. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is trait and factor theory. I would like to put this in the place of my beginning uh, career decisions because I feel that it is very applicable to that particular time of my life. Uh, when I first started to um, have to really consider work on a serious level, I reached for those things that I knew, those things I was familiar with, and as I shared in the, uh, the other parts of my presentation, I started out with doing different types of service work in high school, and they were clerically based. Um, so I think that had a very, very relevant um impact. Um, some could say happenstance and I get that but I want to pull from it from this particular theory because I pulled from the things that I knew, the things I was good at, the things I like to do and at this time in my life I did enjoy that kind of work and it was it was um, uh, I was learning about it so it was still new and it gave me satisfaction so you know you could see that and it fit my personality and everything at that time. I will not take away the fact that I um I do see where some argue, uh, such as Shoffs, I think his name is Shoffs, if I'm pronouncing that right, you know, about that it takes away, um, it doesn't factor in the changes that we go through, and I absolutely believe that. Um, but again, uh, I digress, but, but I do see that, that as being an issue. Nonetheless, I think it applies to the beginning of my life. In the beginning of my life, I tend to, I feel that I was static. Um, I was stationary. I was stable. Um, I did like the ideas of uh, of um, things being orderly and definitely want to learn new things. Don't get me wrong, but more or less, I was very, very um, conventional. And so it fit. And that's how I based that decision. Um, and I was happy with it. I was happy with it for many years. Um, again, I was just getting into the workforce. And with that being said, you know, work, just any kind of work would have been exciting for me. And it fit me. So I did uh, move on and go and I started to look for jobs. And I started with temp jobs. And I eventually established myself in the, um, I guess you could say the office personnel field. The title has changed over time, but nonetheless, it's still um, office, at, um, office support in some kind of way. So with that being said, um, I really worked hard at what I did, and I really wanted to become, uh, I challenged myself a lot to, to always exceed uh, different goals that I even put forth for myself. Um, and I started to take on the role of how do I do my job better? So no matter where I was, I would go in and I would learn the system. And then the next thing was, how do I make this? Can I make this more efficient? How do I do that? And at that point, it started to grow and not just the task or the learning, but how to do this and how to do these different uh, duties or tasks or um, uh, or actions. It became more how fast can I do it? How efficient I can do it? Can I streamline this? And if efficiency started to take over from just the learning process. So I really, really feel that that it was very satisfying for me at that time in my life. But again, it wasn't moving a lot. I was learning these basics fundamentals and then I had to I wanted to master those fundamentals but the fundamentals kind of stayed the same. Um, so I do think training factor would have helped me because I needed to decide where am I going and what did I want to do and I didn't have any idea and I did pull from those things that were familiar to me and that I felt comfortable with and that I got satisfaction with. And that was the main line. And it made it paid a check to take care of my son, me and my son. So 
Um, I didn't factor in as I did later in life, the things that I factored in at this point in my life. And I think trait and factor theory would um, really be the best fit for this time in my life to help me at least get out there and begin my career. So that's why I chose state, state, I mean, <laughs> trait and factor. Um, yeah, so that was the biggest thing. And that's why I chose it for the beginning part of my life, because uh, the dynamics were suitable. That is what I was looking for. And I was satisfied and I was satisfied for many years. Um, but of course, uh, that does change later. So I'll get a little bit, go into a little bit more when I speak about my next theory. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.